directly behind me, hailing from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 185 pounds, the aesthetic crippler, Kevin Blackwood! His opponent in the corner to my right, Jake here against Kevin Blackwood. At this rate, Johnny Torres, this might as well be Jake something versus Kevin nothing. And I'm not talking about his wrestling acumen. Kevin Blackwood, very well polished. But the last time we saw Kevin Blackwood, it was on the end of a defeat. But we didn't just see him lose a contest, we saw him apparently lose a friend. Daniel Garcia, upon losing the Limitless Red Championship, he walked out on him after his loss. Kevin Blackwood finds himself no longer with Garcia. He finds himself no longer with the support of the Limitless fans. He doesn't even find himself representing Buffalo. He's a California implant now. And he finds himself now on the bad side of somebody. Yes, There's I was no going to say, you want to talk about No Love Lost back in June, our return to live shows in front of an audience. Jake Something had his opportunity at the Limitless Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Daniel Garcia and Kevin Blackwood. Yes, and I sir. think that that is the name of the game. It was always the numbers game with Daniel Garcia. Kevin Blackwood, very much a part of the reason why Garcia was able to retain against Jake Something, who looks even more impressive every time we see him. Take a look, if you will, at the physique on Jake Something. Say, wow. talk, and, and, and this is the thing. The fans might be getting into his head here, Johnny Torres. Yeah, and there's Where's Garcia? Some, and there's some sour grapes that Blackwood was wearing even when he came out this way. This is only going to embolden that. Absolutely. And again, though, let's talk about the wrestling acumen. Kevin yeah. Blackwood, very impressive. Was always able to get the job done without Garcia in his corner. Yep. But he became dependent on him over the past year. Yep. This is going to be a true test. And I don't know. You want to talk about AP physics in front of you, you have Jay something impact wrestling star right in front of you yeah no bigger test for a new game plan for Kevin Blackwood than Jake something here reading from the book of something as he takes off the ropes. So, how do you do Kevin Blackwood what a collision Jake what's something. his name top shelf I will tell you it is Jake something rocking and rolling here against Kevin Blackwood the aesthetic crippler on the outside this is not the first time these two met. We've seen this contest before, and Blackwood would very much like to get back on the right page. Victory against Jody Threat this summer. Losses to Anthony Green, though, at the Vacation Land Cup. Took on Ace Romero, the anniversary show, coming up with a loss there. And that's what Garcia walked out on. He had bigger fish to fry in the form of Anthony Green. Big shot from Jake Something. Iron on all cylinders on the outside of the ring here at the arm of Amvex. Kevin Blackwood, what an assault on that chest here. Oh, I even duck. Very smart maneuver being able to get out of the way, the wherewithal there. Those educated feet of Kevin Blackwood, absolutely. At work here, chopping down the redwood that is Jake Sumpter. What's this? Come back in, match can be won. Best place in the middle of the ring. Blackwood now. Sliding knee, stopping the momentum of Jake Something. Doing now this reign of the strikes. Doing exactly what he needs to do. Stay aggressive on the big man right here. Has to take a little bit of time to recover, but you don't want to give Jake too much time to recover. I know about it, because that's what happens. Uh, how effective, a, a body slam, that effective, getting under, an applause here from this audience. When you're that tall, it feels like you're falling off a mountaintop shelf. How crazy a difference a year makes, a year of change. This crowd used to be just solemnly behind Kevin Blackwood. Kevin Blackwood seemingly was in line for Limitless Wrestling Heavyweight Championship bouts, but he finds himself at odds with his audience. And like I said, no longer living in Buffalo. No longer with the Buffalo Brothers. I was going to say, Daniel Garcia, nowhere to be found. We have not seen Puff for quite some time. Right. Kevin I don't Bennett, know is, nowhere to be found. I don't know if this is a new chapter. This might be a whole new book for Top Shelf. Could be. Kevin Blackwood now. Big oh, into the knee. knee. 
catching Drop. Jake something, and that's what he's going to have to do. We're talking about Anthony Henry and JT Dunn with strike exchanges. Kevin Blackwood, very impressive with his strikes, and they've been landing flush here tonight at the expense of Jake something. Oh. And Kevin Blackwood. Trying to employ the mind games. Has to keep finding that chin of Jake something, but what a kick to the back. Blackwood now. European style uppercut something. Who's absolutely not going to be taking any hint of that. Just woke him up. Says no. Blackwood now shoots him around, comes through, looks this, rolls up. Something. Not able to get out of that one. DDT. And you saw you had to fight for the momentum for that DDT cover now. Only two, says Eric Greenleaf. Oh, uh, Blackwood taking some exception there. Looked like he was about to put Greenleaf back on the disabled list. Opting instead. Oh, the hype be thinking it's time to rain down some elbows. What could this be here? He's trying to get it right out. Once again, very strong. Needs to land all of those. Blackwood could be looking for that patented double stomp. Hits it from every angle. Hits it from every angle, from the top rope, the second rope. Running at you. Your opponent running at you. <laughs> it could come from anywhere, and if he lands it, that could spell disaster for Jake something. Good lord. Very crisp chop there from Jake something. Forearm from Blackwood answering back. Ducks a line, ducks another one, a couple shots there. Utilizing that speed oh. advantage, staying in the pocket. That could have been it. That kick lands, that could have been lights out. Blackwood now over. Look at that German suplex. Back door. Gets a little extra momentum. Very impressive from Blackwood. Takes him out there, takes his head off, and Blackwood doesn't know where he is. Both combatants down on the canvas. Eric Greenleaf sucks the count. What a battle top shot. I'm saying, it's, it's a, it's a must-win situation for both guys. Again, Jake something coming off of a loss for the Limitless Wrestling Championship back in June. Blackwood with consecutive losses to both Ace Romero and Anthony Green, top contenders. Again, it, it's just a matter of three losses in a row. We have been talking about it all night, the importance of wins and losses here. Throat attack from Jake something. Jake and Taylor. Catch him. What is this going to be? Double axe handle driving him down to the campus. God. Jake You've never seen a double axe handle like that. Really bringing him right back down. Stomach first into the campus. Small axe position. Blackwood out the back door. Rolling elbow. A uh, big shot from Jake something. Here he comes. Over floats Blackwood. Catches it rough. Oh my goodness, shoulder to the gut. That might be it, Torres. Damn near two. cut him in half. Absolutely. What an impressive victory. It would have been right there if he could have got him. Blackwood, and this is what I'm saying at this point in the contest. Isn't this where we would see Garcia yep. make his presence felt? It feels different. Blackwood, though. But look, he's adapting. He has always been able to do this, Torres. He has oh. never needed Garcia on the outside. Making those adjustments. The double stop I was talking about. They catch him. Oh, uh -oh. no. Only one way to go. Oh, no. Joke slam on the ring apron now. Kevin Blackwood in agony. Jake something. You can hear the groans from the audience. They felt that one too, Johnny. Something now, gonna capitalize. Things are not looking good if your name is Kevin Blackwood. Might be all she wrote. Falcon, Falcon arrow. arrow, effective. Two, three, oh my goodness. Wow. Blackwood kicking out at two. You had to believe, have to believe Kevin Blackwood dug as deep as humanly possible to summon the strength to kick out of that. Jake something, you can see the look on his face. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. He's, he's in disbelief in his own right. And now something's gotta figure something out. It's been strikes for Blackwood that we've been talking about. It was the submission game that threw off Jake something last time. These strikes have been effective, but something still has a lot left in the tank. Weather in the storm. Blackwood looking a little worse for the wear here. Powerbomb, Blackwood catches up the shot. And that, and Blackwood wears it on his face. That might not have been the wisest move. It's up and over. Blackwood, big knee. He lands flush. Out of the way. He lands flush, lays him out. You gotta stay on him, Blackwood. Fireman's carry to the big man. Big, big man. Death Valley driver. With a corkscrew on him. it. Crunches him. That's gotta be it. Three, only two, and Blackwood doesn't like it. Blackwood doesn't like it. And it might be time. 
That vaunted Blackwood double stop might be, but Blackwood might have something else in mind here. I think he should go for the cover against something. Very slow to get oh, up. Pulling down the knee pad here. That what knee a flying trembler. knee. Up. Double stop! Oh, nowhere for him to go! From nowhere Eddie for him to go! Angle. Put it on the board for Blackwood! Greenwood! Greenlee says, dude, I've been lost for words. I can't he believe it. He just stopped his heart in, Johnny Torres. There was nowhere for him to go. Blackwood still wearing the disbelief. He's got to follow up. Out. I, I Blackwood, Blackwood's in disbelief. Is is this where the coaching from Garcia may have been helpful? If it kept I him don't in know. The pocket, kept his eye on the ball, maybe. Blackwood, Kevin Blackwood. now. I don't know if I'd be summoning Jake something back to a vertical base. I might try to hit that double stomp on a prone opponent. Absolutely. I mean, he's been known to fly from the top rope with it. That might have been the move, Torres. When well, you're in the moment, if, if you're not feeling it, if you don't know and have the wherewithal to do it, it's all about Blackwood in there right now. The spirit has taken over Kevin Blackwood here, raining down the strike. Jake uh, something had the duck scouted, though. Oh, another one punishing strikes. This doesn't look good. Blackwood now, not even up on two feet here. Oh! oh! Hurricane style clothesline from Jake Something lays out Blackwood. That was a decapitator if I ever seen one tap shot. Yeah, count out victory at this rate. I don't know if Blackwood's gonna be able to get up. He's up somehow, some way. Jake, Jake something, something though. Oh, Take get out of the way, Kevin. Oh no! no! Beautiful strike, and here we go. Now he realizes it. Double stop from the top will be the difference maker, Torres. Summoning the energy. Here he comes. Lands it. What? Oh, no. What is this? Something. Sit out power bomb. Only two. No way. Only two. Something at the double stop scouting. Oh, not again. Not again. Dr. Bob. Got wrench power bomb. Two. Jake something! Kevin Blackwood! Stop it! Double spot! There's no way for him to go! When your face is that close to the canvas, there's no way for it to go! Blackwood now! Blackwood's gotta get this gut check here. He's gotta go to the top! Ascending! He's gotta get it all! He's gotta get it all, he's gotta get it all right now, Torres! Something moves out of the way. Blackwood now feeling it! Catches him! What is this? Brings him back to his feet! Blackwood slam! Two, three, what a victory! Who's winning? Something! Nothing short of an impressive victory for Jay Something, but you have got to give it to the heart of Kevin Blackwood. That is the Kevin Blackwood of old that we are familiar with. If I was writing a, a first chapter of a new book in my career, win or lose, that's how I would want to kick it off. What a showing for Kevin Blackwood. What a victory for Jake Something here at Prize Possession. Wow. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Labby and welcome to Maine's Pro Wrestling History. Babe Ruth was one of the greatest baseball players of all time. In his 22 seasons with Major League Baseball, he played with the Boston Red Sox, the New York Yankees, and then finished his career again in Boston for the Boston Braves. He was the first real home run king in baseball. And incidentally, while playing for the Boston Red Sox, he did play an exhibition game in Sanford, Maine at Goodall Field where he hit a home run. Now, what does this have to do with professional wrestling? Well, in 1945, about 10 years after his playing days were behind him, Babe Ruth agreed to be the referee for some wrestling matches in Boston, Massachusetts and in Portland, Maine. And on April 2nd, 1945, 2,300 fans packed the Portland Expo where Ruth would officiate his first match between Leo Numa and bad guy Manuel Cortez. Now, Cortez had been overly aggressive with the babyface Numa that night, and Ruth had to get physically involved separating the two men on more than one occasion. The end of the contest came when Cortez took a swing at the great Bambino, a mistake, no doubt, and Babe Ruth called for the bell disqualifying the bad guy. Now, the two men would square off with each other before Cortez thought better of it and backed off. I'm Michael Labby, and this has been Maine's Pro Wrestling History.
maybe I just gave her a taste of her old- <laughs> oh! Oh! between that bell <laughs> it's gonna be legal oh boy he needs to try her best to hit as hard as masha or be craftier and there's a chance she could be and there it is chain and play folks there it is Man, you can't imagine but now she has nowhere to go oh. hawks one right in her face oh boy oh but young with the right here and tell me apparently that moment is input pull masha Baptized in blood! Asha coming in high! Very nicely done, Delmi out of the way! Now what's he got planned here? Drops her with a back suplex. Gonna hook her off across the mouth! Into the buckle. You gotta defeat your opponent. You can't wait for her to pass out this game. You gotta pin her, you can a little bit. What is this? Northern Lights bomb! On the chair! No give! No give! The Brutes! The Gons away! Oh! It's a power bomb! With a hybrid pile driver power bomb, all on the bridge of the neck, but at the, the top of the back, two torrents. Unique positioning. But tell me, hang it in there. It's the thing, you have to understand, you, it's not an upset if Matt Cross defeats Anthony Green tonight. No, no sir. He's been seen through it all. CZW, Ring of Honor, Jersey All Pro Wrestling, had his cup of coffee the WWE. And again, that's when it started. He had that chip on his shoulder. And he's still trying to shake it. And tonight, I think a victory against Anthony Green is a great way to do it. Absolutely. We get him right back into the heavyweight title conversation there. The world championship picture that everybody's trying to get into at this point. As we approach the Vacation Land Cup for this year, you better believe Matt Cross beating one of the current entrants to Absolutely. this year's Vacation Land Cup would clinch a berth. Certainly have him coming back here from the middle of a, middle of yeah. nowhere Ohio to the middle of nowhere Maine. Uh, not that we are middle of nowhere Herman, but uh, Absolutely of course, not. you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Anthony Green now working the headlock here on M-Dog 20, Matt Cross. And Matt Cross, like I said, he is no stranger to Limitless Wrestling. Competing against MJF not too, too long ago. It's just a couple of years ago as we're heading towards our sixth anniversary here in September. Matt Cross as well, I do believe, he's taking on Christian Casanova in the past here. Absolutely. AG. So looking to perhaps take one at the expense of Anthony Green. Anthony Green, reminder, never lost the Limitless Wrestling Championship. He let it go. He let it go behind him when he went down to Florida. Yeah, but he relinquished it. He relinquished it. He wants it back. Vacation Land Cup may be the way, but he has to get through Memdog 20 first. Anthony Green coming in hot. Suicide dive takes it. M-Dog 20 still on his feet, though. Providing that fan in the front row with a little interaction. That's what you get when you spring for the front row tickets here. Absolutely, you never know. M-Dog 20 now taking Anthony Green off his feet. One of the finest flyers on us. Absolutely. Trying to get some noise going here. And you take a look at Anthony Green, we talked about it. Anthony Green was a tremendous athlete, a tremendous professional wrestler before going down with the NXT crew. Imagine the tutelage being under the learning tree of guys like Prince Albert, Matt Bloom, William Regal. Talk about people like, you know, all the guests that come by there. My goodness, it's a plethora, it's a learning tree, and Anthony Green stuck roots down, and he brought it back here tonight, looking to take it at the expense of m 20. Beautiful oh, wow. tilt to world head scissors. One of, the, one of the finest flyers to do it. Nearly wrote, half, probably wrote half the book on modern high flying. Oh. Oh, no! Thunderous chop from Anthony Green. Yeah, nothing aerial about that. And that's probably the way that Anthony Green would want to keep this. That's a slow down M-Dog 20. You gotta believe, you know, he still has that high flying offense. Anthony Green is not afraid to fly as well. No, sir, one of the best all-rounders in the game today, showing it off. Once again, with a beautiful earth and run by Anthony Green. Catch them around, what is this? This, oh! Pendulum backbreaker. Might have been looking to follow up the headlock takeover, but M-Dog 20, Matt Cross, had it scouted, went for the cover. Nate Speckman says we're just not there yet. Absolutely, and Anthony Green, though, really feeling it on his back. He's slowed it back, get back up to his feet now. Now Matt Cross, 
stalking Anthony Green into the corner. There's the wind up. Precision connection of the jaw of the alternative Anthony Green. Catching oh. that buckle hard. Head first, Matt Cross saying let's make it three. Wait, Anthony Green put on the brakes. You say you gotta be looking, you know, Anthony Green's repertoire of moves here. A lot of his moves can be hit at any time. We've seen that new uh, beautiful punch of his, something as simple as a punch, just so effective, the good hand. We've seen that former Shaker Heights spike is now the alternate, the alternate ending. Of course, the so much prettier. Take of on the course. Prettier. All of those moves could hit at a moment's notice. And that could be the, it, the end for Matt Cross. It's part of the art form of the alternative, that ability to catch that sudden offense at any given moment. And Herman Maine, rallying behind the alternative, drags his way out of the chin lock. Matt Cross coming in hot, meets yes. a chin breaker. Gets up with a neck breaker now, does Anthony Green. Matt Cross stunned, heads into the corner. Here comes Anthony Green, Bandera to the outside. Well, on the house over, Anthony Greendale going to the top rope. Oh. What is this? Catches him. No balloons needed for that one, Johnny Torres. No, sir, that vintage Anthony Green. Let Following me up with another old time favorite, the inside out back suplex. You say that belly to back suplex turning Matt Cross inside out. Checking his hand a little bit. Landed on his back, perhaps landed on his hand. Herman made firmly behind Anthony Green right now. Out, leaving no doubt as Anthony Green. Say Anthony Green taking his time now. Gonna be perhaps looking at that good hand maybe in the corner. Delivering another plate of chops to Matt Cross. Driving the wind out of the lungs there. Beautiful knife edge chop. Come out into the snap mare. Beautiful drop kick to the back of the neck into the cover. Two. Kick out at the count of two. Nate Speckman. All right, Matt. Anthony Green disagrees a little bit, I think. Yeah, Matt Cross might be having trouble. You mentioned it before. He's shaking those fingers out. That neck damage might be paying dividends. Absolutely. You say that neck breaker started earlier in the contest. Anthony Green shooting them in. Gonna come in hot. Boots to the face from Matt Cross. Back up to the top. Oh no! Oh no! And if that neck was in a bad way before. Oh, Anthony Green right back on him. A seasoned veteran. Yep. Still so much time, a young man in his own right. And I don't want to take away anything from Matt Cross, but Matt Cross is not the young man that he once was. He has no. not missed the beat. However, if we're talking about how much gas is in the tank, you got to believe that you're giving the nod to AJ. Right, plus the mileage on his the body. Nod, that's all I'm saying, absolutely. AJ, trying to keep that tempo in his court. And say with the Matt Cross supporters coming out in droves as well there. Anthony Green rounds him up once again, shoots him into the corner. Hard to the buckle, Anthony Green coming in. Will once again eat the feet of Matt Cross, who's up to the second rope, jumping over Anthony Green. Oh. Hitting the rope, says Matt Cross, big clothesline. Building that tempo. Catch him again with the clothesline, Anthony Green to the buckle. Summoning the energy of the Morgan Hills Event Center, coming in hot, cartwheel into the elbow. Matt Cross, springboard, beautiful forearm to Anthony Green into the cover. This could be it, Johnny. Two, that, only a count of two. Picture perfect follow-up. That twisting elbow connecting flush across the jaw. Nearly a knockout shot. Outstanding battle here in Herman, Maine. Watching Leave No Doubt on IWTV. Join the conversation. Hashtag Leave No Doubt. Matt Cross, Anthony Green. Leaving it all in the limitless wrestling ring. Matt Cross slow to his feet. Anthony Green, big shot. Right across the, the buckle. Now what a rush, what a bull rush into that corner. Anthony Green now brings him up to the second. Look at Anthony Green be looking for here. Making the proper adjustments, oh, might be thinking AG, superplex. That's a good hand right there. Look no further. That's a good hand. He might have a broken hand after that good hand. My God, I could crack a cheek. Might be thinking superplex. And the superplex here from the second. Matt Cross holding on for dear life. Rattling the jaw of Matt Cross. But now, Cross trying to battle out. Huh? Face first, Anthony Green lands hard. 
Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Anthony Cross. Green. Taking his time. Double stop right to the back of Anthony Green. Gets it right in the face. That boot. It's over. And only two. Only two, Johnny Torres. Eric kill shots and only two. I can't believe it. And look at Anthony Green. You said it, Herman. Matt Cross, we get the best fans when we get Lumber hovering over him. You can see his face. He's gasping for air. As is Anthony Green trying to figure out what he has to do to put away AG. Two, two weathered warriors giving it everything they have. Nate Speckman counting as both men prone on the canvas. Matt Cross feeling the energy. Pro AG crowd again coming out in droves here. As they Green. meet in the middle. Firing off shots, forearms from Matt Cross. Anthony Green mustering up a forearm of his own. Giving no ground, Catches giving it. no quarter. He has another shot to the face. Another forearm. That's a punch. Picking up the pace, testing this. each other's chins. Anthony Listen Green. Looking for that good hand once again. Catches him up in the fireman's carry position. Matt Cross spins him around. Anthony Green escapes. Catches him. Kick to the side. What is this? What Whoa. is this? Brain eater. Oh, no. Two. That only two. Anthony Green. Pulling one out from the deep cuts. And Matt Cross spiked on his head. Oh, oh no! This could be the alternate ending! Matt Cross up on his feet! Only Matt Cross could do that! Catch him with a crusher! Cross catches him with a crusher! Oh, he's going to the top rope! What could this be? Wow! And Matt Cross now. No margin for error. Shooting star press! Lands on his feet, rolls through! Gonna be looking for the poor pretty beauties. Yup, so much prettier. So hooks. much prettier. Lands it. Flush for the victory. Two, three. Anthony Green victorious. Here's your winner, the alternative, Anthony Green. And I can't think of any better way to build momentum into the upcoming vacation.